comes back to my point, they need to know about themselves. Like, I'm gonna get my revenge. I'm gonna get my revenge. Hey guys, it's L2 Winter Dukes, I'm back with another video, and today's another episode of Spilling the Tea for the Girlies. So today's episode is all about being in your villain era, mostly about personal growth, self-love, but we're in our villain era, hence why I'm wearing red. So what is being in your villain era? Basically the way I'm describing it, because I'm currently in my villain era, is me putting myself first. Honestly, I need peace, peace of mind, and that comes with putting LT first. But aside from that, there's also the being more assertive, don't let people cross your boundaries, and then there's a more aggressive side of like pushing back, getting your revenge. Like sometimes you have to go to that side when it needs to be. But overall, I was really looking for like what describes what I'm going through right now. And the description is really just me being in my villain era. Like, I no longer let these people just do anything they want and get away with it. I'm gonna let you know how that made me feel. I'm gonna let you know what you did, why you were wrong. Because I'm putting myself first, I need to get it off my chest. And I feel like a lot of the time to just like, be a pushover, just let things happen, things, everything will just happen as it needs to be. And that's not the case. Like, you need to let people know about themselves. So some examples of this are Cassie from Euphoria. If you guys watch Euphoria, that show is top tier. Cassie, we love to hate Cassie, honestly. A little crazy last season. But if you think about it, Cassie was really in her villain era because she started just doing whatever she wanted to do. I don't condone her stepping out of line with her best friend's ex Ting. Like, mm -mm, we're not doing that. But she really decided to put herself first instead of just being on the back burner of everybody else. So that's what we're trying to do here. No matter how crazy Cassie was getting, Cassie did what Cassie wanted to do. And let's just get into why Cassie was crazy. And it's because Nate was always lying to her. Like, if you think about it, the one thing that seems to be the problem is people do not hold to their word. And honestly, you have to start holding people to what they say or it's just gonna become a situation of anyone will do anything to you and get away with it. And that's what we're doing over here. I really realize that in myself, if you lie to me, it's like over for you. It is literally over for you. I cannot do liars. If you tell me you're gonna do something, I expect you to do it. I don't even wanna follow up with you because you said you're gonna do it. So I'm just gonna take your word for it. And I think that's why now I'm really in my villain era because once you lied to me, it is over. I'm gonna tell you that you're a liar and how I feel about that. And I'm gonna go my way. I'm gonna just go my way. But I'm gonna say my peace. And I'm keeping my peace because if you don't keep up your word, I'm just gone. There's no questions asked. Like, I'm just gone. That directly leads into no repeat offenders. When you're in your villain era, there is no repeat offenders. There's no second chances. Well, we can give them a one-two chance, but if the sky is blue, the sky is blue. Like, please just read the signs. There's no need to like really be down bad with these people, like going through the trenches, figuring it out, because if they do you dirty, they will probably do you dirty again. And nobody can really grow within like a day. Like if something bad happens, say like you got cheated on, you need time to figure out what happened. So you can't expect them to just switch up in a day. So if you're not willing to stick through the trials and tribulations, then just go. If you guys are a fresh new couple, what is what is the point? Personally. Personally, I'm off day out. But even in like my own circumstances, like literally for me, if you tell me you're gonna do something and you don't do it, I'm gonna give you one, two, three chances. After the third even to get to three is so far, but I know we all be doing it, so I'm not even gonna count. Once you hit the third, it's like, okay, I gave you enough chances. There is just no way. Especially if we're start, like if I just met you, after one, you're not linking up, I'll probably give you one more chance. After that, it's a wrap for you because what he won't do, another person will do. Or what they won't do, another person will do. There's always another. And that's just that. One thing about it is if somebody 
does something and you don't like it you should let them know like logically you need to let them know so that they can address it they could say what happened let you know how they feel you let them know how they feel work it out if need be but you need to speak up and i feel like a lot of the time we're just i'm just saying women in general or like just people in situations in any situation relationship a lot of the time some people can find themselves being passive i'm one of those people that like i do not like confrontation i'm more so just gonna let it slide and it's gonna just keep building up and i'm gonna lose it one day and i'm working on that but that's why i'm letting you guys know like once something happens you need to address it that way they know why you're upset you guys can work on it also if you're upset you need to let them know why you're upset because things aren't going to change if they're not addressed but i also feel like it comes down to like your personality like say that person's always late if you don't address that you're late all the time and it's actually not okay and this is why it's not okay this is how long i was waiting for you like you need to let them know that stuff because sometimes you can let them know and they're like it's okay it's okay it's okay like they'll just brush it off but no one thing about me is being late mm, that will trigger me because it just shows you don't respect my time at all and you don't even respect what's going on here because you were late and you didn't care to tell me that you were going to be late or you didn't really make an effort to be on time there's that too but once you've addressed it you've decided that okay there's just no need to move forward in these situations whether it be friends boyfriends partners whatever the case is there's no spinning the block like i feel like everyone lets someone spin at least one time it's just like such a thing now they're like yeah i spun the block like no no we don't want to do that usually someone will spin at least once because sometimes even in a breakup low-key you guys get back together <laughs> like or low-key you guys become friends but it was really you guys seeing if like you could work out again like i feel like that's such a common occurrence like when people tell me they're doing that i don't even like get faced because like yeah like you're probably gonna do that unless they did you so dirty and even in those cases people do go back so it really could be any situation but a lot of the times even in breakups you guys go back to try again so i understand one spin all right i understand but if they mess up after the first spin it's like you gotta stop spinning the block but also the ones that don't even deserve the right to spin the block you gotta cut them out you got oh like please do not disrespect me like my thing is if you thought you could spin the block and that's why you act the way you acted clearly you are not the one and i am not the one like i'm not about to be allowing that type of behavior there's no way you think you can spin the block now one of the main things i'm finding right now is some people just don't take no for an answer like when i say tell them you can't spin the block or don't let them spin the block say no some people don't take no and some girls will be like oh my god he cares so much like or oh my gosh they care so much because they're really trying now like mm -mm, no they just don't want their egos to be on the floor another thing is they want the relationship to be open-ended like at least they know if you guys end on good terms they could spend literally like a month later a year later they will still try if you keep it nice they will literally still try so just know your limit and i don't know if just the crazies are out recently but they do not take no for an answer they will literally harass you like i literally feel like it's harassment like liking on tiktok liking on instagram just to, like show that they're still there like they still have access following you unfollow it's like the worst and the thing is like if they're just doing it to you you feel like you have no escape because what are you gonna do like follow them back to message them and be like stop stop liking my pics <laughs> like like it's just you have no options you literally have no options it's draining but i literally have just found that if they are persistent and you don't want any part at all like it's even they're persistent and it's like you're not even getting like it's not even clicking like at least be persistent and come back with like a big apology on what you did or something there's like no change basically or like not enough time has even passed for them to actually change then it's like you're literally trying to disturb my peace and girls summer is starting please please don't let them come back now <laughs> like do not let them come back now the perfect solution 
is to hit the block button. I said it. I have been hitting the block button like there is no tomorrow. Like, I just do not have the time. Like, if you don't come correct and there's nothing for me to react to, I'm not playing the game. Like, I'm just gonna block you because it is just draining and triggering to see notifications come in from people that you do not want a notification from. And it's like, I get it. You can let them follow you so that they can see that you're living your best life. But it comes to a point where it's like, all right, like you're seeing too much now. <laughs> like you're seeing all the pictures. We see that you see all the pictures. So yeah, I just have to hit the block button because I don't play. I block the haters away. <laughs> No, but for real, I feel like blocking actually is very much necessary these days. Like, I wasn't really a fan of blocking. Like, I would be like, it just shows that you care a little bit too much. But that's definitely not the case. Like, it shows you care enough about yourself. Like, please just block them. Let them be out of your life. You really don't have the worry of being like, I wonder if they're going to actually see this picture. Like, they're just not going to see the picture. And that's fine. They definitely saw enough. They were hurting. That's why all the notifications were coming in. Aside from that, I do feel like sometimes, especially in your villain era, you feel the need to get revenge. And a lot of people draw the line at revenge. You're like, it shows you care too much or it's just too much effort. Like, I don't want to even associate. I don't want to do it. Me? I kind of like revenge. Like, if it's a situation where you do me so dirty and I feel like, I feel like for me, like, you need to know about yourself, comes back to my point, they need to know about themselves, like, I'm gonna get my revenge. I'm gonna get my revenge, because I just can't walk away from some situations if nothing happened to you too, <laughs> like, something needs to happen to the both of us, so I'm here for revenge. If you feel like that guy did you dirty or that girl did you dirty and you need to go burn their clothes, we're in the clothes. I don't condone any violence. But me, I haven't personally burnt clothes. That's a little too far for me. Have I taken some stuff back? Yes. We won't go into details. But what I do do is I hold myself accountable. Like I don't want my ego getting too out of line or even my pride that's like, I need revenge that bad. I know when I need to like show my cards, draw the line with these people and get what's mine but i always talk back to my friends like you think this is crazy and i know you know you have those friends it's like they're gonna agree with you you have those friends it's like they're gonna take the milder approach so check in with both parties <laughs> make sure you're not out of line make sure you don't do something that you're going to regret i feel like now i just get what i feel like is justified people have their own levels but you know i think you know what you know <laughs> some things are warranted but yeah girlies this is just a short one because right now is the start of summer if you guys haven't heard that new diddy song act bad we're acting bad we're acting bad we're outside so i just wanted to remind the girls that we are doing what's best for us don't let anyone disturb your peace let people know about themselves and just do you because once you start worrying about these other people, it's going to be a problem. It's just too much. Like, people that want to act correct will come correct. Remember that. But yeah, I'm just so happy to be back. Just spilling the tea. But we're really just on our best behavior, but worst behavior this year. Don't let anyone walk all over you. And you guys know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment any video ideas you guys have for me down below because I will do them. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.